Friday, Chancellor Kwasi Kwarteng unveiled his new fiscal plan, which was greeted with accusations that it'll make the rich richer and doesn't help the poor, to which the government have countered, yup. <laughs> Trust and Kwarteng are sorry not sorry about the budget not a budget. And um, why should they be? They've got a plan, guys. It appears to be modelled on the idea of trickle-down economics, which is when the government cuts taxes for the super rich and big corporations in the hopes that it boosts the economy from the top down. Of course they're not going to give money to the poor people straight away. A big cup of money full to the brim? No, a poor person would spill it. <laughs> The headlines of Kwarteng's massive spaff fest, sorry, <laughs> budget, no, <laughs> event, no spaff fest, no, event, <laughs> are that he abolished the highest rate of income tax, uncapped bankers' bonuses, and created a special tax incentive for people who want to write fuck you on the side of their super yacht. <laughs> But remember, in theory, some of that yacht will trickle down to you. If you're lucky, it might be the bit that says fuck you. <laughs> no one really knows where the country's going to find the money to cover these massive tax cuts, but don't worry, Kwarteng is probably only a week away from announcing his new policy, the search for buried treasure. <laughs> week, US President Joe Biden delivered a shady subtweet saying, I am sick and tired of trickle-down economics, it never works. Strong words, and very enjoyable to read an elderly white man start a sentence with, I am sick and tired of, and it not end with, women and the foreigners. <laughs> and Keir Starmer said, it's not trickle-down economics, it's a piss take. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> how angry Keir Starmer, the human embodiment of the phrase no thanks I'm driving, <laughs> has to get before he says something like that, fudging angry. <laughs> the Guardian argued that the pound's plummet underlines schoolboy error by Quasi Kwarteng. What sort of schoolboy could crash the... Oh, Eton, Eton, yeah, Eton. <laughs> but don't listen to those Debbie trickle-downers. Keep calm and trickle on. Get on board the trickle train. Woo-woo! <laughs> the pound has tanked. <laughs> but if this was a roller coaster, this would be the best bit. Wee Splash Mountain! <laughs> Since the announcement, the pound fell to its lowest value against the dollar since decimalisation. So, how low is the pound? The pound is so low... How low is this? The pound is so low, it's still in bed at 2pm and the curtains are still drawn. <laughs> the pound is so low, it's not tall enough to go on a ride at Alton Towers. <laughs> is so low, it went for a walk and got accused of upskirting. <laughs> the pound is so low, it can't reach up to fuck your mama. <laughs> that was too far. I regret that one. <laughs> what happened is, Kwarteng announced his plan, which caused borrowing costs to surge, and the markets panicked, and everything went to shit. To the extent that the Bank of England publicly laid into the plan, the IMF really laid into the plan, and on Tuesday, the Bank of England had to step in to try and calm things down. Down. Imagine having a plan so bad that a bank has to shout at you and then immediately calm you down. <laughs> now, at the start of the show, I gave TV megastar Kerry Godleyman £60 that she doesn't need. And I asked her to share it to demonstrate how money can trickle down. <laughs> so, hopefully, if we check in now with one of you guys... Um, she's gone. <laughs> Straight away, did she? Impressive. <laughs> Wish her safe journey home. <laughs> Let me see if I've got this right. If the rich keep on getting richer and the pound keeps tanking, you put them together and... This is where the treasure is buried! <laughs> Grab your shovels, let's get digging! It's genuinely the best hope we have. <laughs> and while we've made a hole, perhaps we should throw the concept of trickle-down economics in there too. Because do the economic gains made by the rich actually trickle down? No, of course not. Rich people don't let things trickle down. They hold it in more effectively than a panicked driver in a traffic jam two miles from T-Base services. <laughs> trickle down is loose change being thrown at you. Crumbs off the table or the weak stream at the end of that service station piss. <laughs> and how better to describe the situation we're in with this government than the end of a 12-year-long piss take.